shot I am not throwing away my shot Hey yo, I'm just like my country I'm young, scrappy, and hungry And I'm not throwing away my shot I'm Hello everybody, welcome back to another V Media Arts live segment Today, we're here at the SHN Orpheum Theater in San Francisco I'm very excited to hear what their experience was like working with Lynn and having him in that room where it happens so let's go inside the Orpheum and meet the cast of Hamilton. So we are here at the SHN waiting for the Hamilton cast, which is fresh off their tour in Puerto Rico, where Lin-Manuel reprised his role as Hamilton. So we got the 10 principal roles right here. We're really excited because we get to interview them. We're here with Ruben J. Carvajal, who is playing John Lawrence, correct? And Philip Hamilton in the second act. Hey, I'm Simon Longnine. I'm playing Marquis de Lafayette and Thomas Jefferson. I'm Donald Weber Jr. I play Aaron Burr. And I am Brandon Armstrong, and I play Aaron Burr. I play Her He plays Hercules Mulligan, and that's it. <laughs> Not even James Madison, yeah. just, just Hercules Mulligan. <laughs> no, I make him leave the stage before he comes back in act two. No, this is James Madison and Hercules, Hercules Mulligan. Mulligan. Yeah. yeah. You gonna make me hold your mic? You know what, I like this. Well, then you will not be hearing from him for the rest of this interview. My name is Isaiah Johnson. I play the role of George Washington in Hamilton. I was obsessed with the show right when it came out, and my favorite characters were Marquis de Lafayette and Thomas Jefferson. And right from there, I was like, okay, no matter what, someday I will play these characters. And it, all the work, I guess, paid off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about Lynn manuel Miranda. No, man, that dude, he's incredible. So first of all, like, he's a guy who, like, you know, he, you would imagine him being, now that he's a star, right, him being someone who's like, you know, I'm going to take this very seriously. This is something that I must do. This is my play that I've spent seven years working on, you know. And then as soon as he gets in there, you're like, Oh, come on, man. You're just one of us. You're chilling. Uh, it was so inspiring. Um, the people there, I mean, Lynn said it best. They're so resilient. Um, and, and to bring this show about an immigrant from the Caribbean who went to the States, it, w it was just sort of like full circle because Lynn was born in the States and now he's going back to the Caribbean to do this show. And he's so kind and he's so gracious, right? He's like on stage, you you know, he's very much like, what are you bringing? Because I'm, I'm going to bring something else to you, you know? He's a brilliant, brilliant mind. His mind just, it just works at a mile a minute, you know what I mean? And so I think because his brain works that way, it kind of trickles into his energy as a performer. And it's been great, you know, this is the second time him and I have been able to do this together. So it was it was amazing. And it was also amazing to see him kind of embrace after uh, the triumph of Hamilton in America, you know, and bringing that back home. Working with Lynn. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Um, he is. He's. OK, I came into the experience. I was like, I have all these preconceived notions about him. I'm like, oh, he seems like such a nice guy. He seems like he's so kind to everyone in the cast. It's just crazy. So then I get there. I'm like, OK, maybe it's all a facade. And none of it was a facade. He is truly just a genuine human being who is so kind, so caring. And it was so cool being in his work where he was just a fellow actor, which was crazy. He never tried to give notes. He never um, stepped out of his lane. It, I mean, it was m way more than a homecoming. Like, it's one thing to, for an actor to go back and perform from where their family is from, but for him, um, as creator, as writer, as star of the show, it was unlike anything I've ever been a part of. The coolest person, the coolest person. So kind, and, and, and um, it really was a unique perspective getting to work with him because as dope and chill as he is, he also has so much freaking information yeah. on this show and getting to just sit across from him and absorb that, it, it, it's, an, it's just something that doesn't often happen when you're doing a show. The music is amazing. It's unreal. Lynn and everyone did an amazing job, but then to see the show, it is... It, the storytelling with the lights, with the sets, with the costumes, and the choreography, it is remarkable. And you can't see it once and get every story that's being told. Obviously, you know, we did the production in Puerto Rico, but that wasn't the point. 
right? The point of doing the production in Puerto Rico was to raise the morale and to build finance that can go directly to the communities in Puerto Rico that are most in need. And so I think that's just like magnanimous, right? Like if you can bring a piece of work, but also have it serve the purpose of uplifting the community. That's an immigrant story that we never hear told. What's also dope is like when he like kind of fangirls over you, you know what I mean? Like he did, and he did it for each one of us. Like it was like, and you know, then you kind of are like, wait, did Lynn just, did he just tweet about me? You know, but he's dope, he's great. I hate him. <laughs> and the beauty of the choreography is that it creates uh, a movie camera. It creates an imaginative movie camera to where the audience is able to like really zoom in on certain moments and really truly connect and almost become flies on the wall, if you will, you know, of what was happening in the room where it happened. You know, even now in our political landscape, we read the news after it happened, right? And we're like, oh, he did what? Well, this happened, but we weren't in the room. So Hamilton invites people to like say, hey, we're gonna give you a free ticket to the room. Yes, you paid to see the production, but we're gonna give you a ticket to come inside the room, to come inside my thoughts, and to come inside the heart of George Washington. And that's something that we have not gotten yet, and that's why Hamilton is so successful. One thing that amazes me about him is he takes what he's incredible at and he tries to give back as much as possible. Because the entire, what we were doing in Puerto Rico was trying, attempting to give back to the arts fund and like give money to spark young artists to create and to do exactly what Lynn did. Honestly, everybody who's in Hamilton is here for their own personal personalities. You know what I mean? Like when you come and see the show, you're seeing a bunch of people who aren't just playing characters. They're just being themselves. You know what I mean? Which I think is so fun because like, you see my man standing right here. He got the little jean jacket right here. He got the little turtleneck right here. You know what I'm saying? And then I come at you with a nice, you know, I'll come at you with a nice little suit suit. You know what I'm saying? But this is, but honestly like, and you know, like he could wear the suit, he wear it down. I could wear the jean jacket down, but like, this is just who we are. And so, you know, everybody likes to dress how they like to dress, you know? Uh, you, I, I can honestly say I don't feel 100% any any night. Like, even after a day off. Like, it's it's really, really tough. And the schedule is, is, it doesn't allow you to take that full rest. And so it's learning, okay, I have I have 80% of, of everything today. How do I use that 80% to make it my 100%. And then he just like goes off script, but in complete rhyme. And I usually in the beginning, I'm like, who is this kid trying to talk to us in this bar? But in that moment, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I dropped everything. I was in complete shock. I was like, he literally just called this person out in time and in rhyme. He literally did a rewrite live. And it was, cra it was crazy. It, it's a true testament to him being a modern day Shakespeare, being able to just be like, Stop recording. I'm going to wrap this entire section and not lose a beat. It's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, you know, I connect to George Washington through the lens of, you know, the immigrants who were there. You know what I mean? Many conversations have been had about the nature and the way that Hamilton is told through a predominantly minority cast. My favorite part is definitely the rehearsal process, like all of it. We, um, this is my second time in San Francisco doing this show. So uh, the first time is when I didn't know the show at all. Um, and so those six weeks of learning who, this who these characters are and what they mean to the story, but also what they mean to history um, was really eye-opening for me. This feels like it's it's a, like not a reality, but we're going in for Hamilton, and, and and I think they might like us. And after six weeks, I got a call, and it was like you're gonna do Hamilton, and and you're gonna do it in Puerto Rico with Lynn. And at no point in in that did it ever sort of really register to me that I had booked the most incredible show ever, and I was gonna do it with Lynn. One night I was sitting backstage, and this was in, this was in Puerto Rico, and. I was like, Lynn, how do you do these, like, because we were doing nine show weeks there. Um, how do you do it? And he was like, it's hard, but it's like a uh, yoga. You have to, like, keep your energy flowing through it. 
and just stay aware of what's happening in the moment, but just continue through all the motions. It really wasn't until our first day of rehearsal that I sort of was like, holy crap, this is, this is a reality. And I'm in here with like people like freaking Donald Weber, uh, the Donald Weber. Um, and, and, and it just, it's still to this day, I, I, am, I come in through the stage door and it's like, what is my life right now? It's, it just all was such a surreal process. I went to the University of Michigan for musical theater, um, and that, that's where I got my training, and my, the, the major, I would say 90% of my education was just from there. Um, and just cherishing teachers and mentors, and trying to reach out to as many people as possible. Don't think that you are above anyone. Always be willing to learn from anyone and just like reach out and be like, hey, will you help me with this monologue? Will you help me with this song? Um, yeah, stay green, I guess. I, I, feel, I feel honored to have gotten to work with him because he is truly a modern day Shakespeare and, and a great guy too, so. <laughs> when we were in Puerto Rico, I went to visit an elementary school and they had just built like a new theater space. And as soon as I saw it, I cried. It just, I didn't expect to. It just brought back memories of when I was a child and having to move around a lot. Well, like, it was like the common denominator. And in that moment, I discovered, I was like, oh, wow, this is my way in, right? Like, this is my gift that I could give to the world. At first, no one really tells you how to get through an eight-show week, how to, how to keep your body and your, your mind and your voice all to where it's supposed to be every single night. Um, and so a lot of it is just self-check-in. And if you feel like something's wrong, then then you go and check it out. Luckily, we have um, a physical therapist who is backstage with us every night. Um, and so if there is something wrong, if your knee hurts, if your back hurts, even if your voice is, is feeling sort of under, you can go to her and say, hey, like I, I want these muscles around my neck sort of worked on or I want my my leg worked on and, and and she'll do it she's amazing and um like I said it's just maintenance stay a student um just continue to learn be in any environment just continue to stay open to all things and all lessons because you never know when you're going to receive one that you're going to carry with you forever um I I love this show I Every time it's it's time to talk about contracts, I'm like, okay, like what what can we do so that I can stay? I, I love this show. I love the message that it sends. In the role of Alexander Hamilton, Julius Thomas the Third. had such an amazing time interviewing the cast of Hamilton at the SHN Orpheum Theater in San Francisco. How'd you guys feel? Oh my gosh. One of the actors, when he was talking, almost made me tear up. And I, I, I was emotional because he was talking about, very passionately, about his um, acting experience and uh, what he loves about it and all of this other stuff. And I was like, yes, that's that's it. That's You're right. Totally. Um, but it was really an eye-opening experience. It was it was super inspirational because it's like these people were just they weren't talking like they were these big Broadway actors, you know. They, they were like I mean, they are and they're and and we had all that respect. But like they they were just they were, they were homies and they were telling us about the audition process and just to young actors out there just to keep going, stay. He, uh, what did I say? Stay green. Yeah. I Every person deserves to be in this cast, and you guys deserve Let's to see it. So if you guys want to watch the show, there's actually a lottery at LuckySeat.com. If you guys win the lottery, you'll get tickets for $10. You can just come and buy them, and it's going to be a great time. Hamilton's going to be here for almost the entire year, I think. So you're going to be here a long time. You're going to have a lot of chances. And if you win the lottery, Nico's already seen it. He's fine. But if you win the lottery, take either Zaya and me. And by that, I mean me. Take me. Great, cool, love you, bye. <laughs> Most notably, I want to rep Kevin Durant and the Warriors. <laughs> Most notably, uh, 
uh, KD and a wonderful partnership with many other fabulous companies are doing a Black History Initiative. Thank you so much, Simon, for having this interview with us. Thank you for joining us with V Media Arts. And I hope you had a great time. Like, have a good show. It's going to be great. People already saw it, but Zion and I, we're like, right. I've been trying to well, thank you for talking with us and have a great run. Thank you so much for talking. <laughs> yeah. That's a, yeah. Oh, Hamilton is amazing. Yeah.